Learn how to create beautiful backgrounds within minutes just by using a simple line graphic in After Effects. We're going to be exploring several background animations, but with the techniques shown in this After Effects video, you're going to be able to create unlimited designs for your project. So be sure to drop a like on this video and let's get started. And as always, you can download the project files for free with the link in the description. So first I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful repeated line background just by using one effect. So to start off, go ahead and create yourself a solid layer and it doesn't matter the color. Then go to effect, generate, and we'll grab radio waves. And by default, the radio waves effect emits a nice circular shape, which is great for what we're doing. However, this is incredibly customizable with all the controls here. So for example, I could go to polygon and I could change the size to four. So now we have a diamond or a square, depending on your perspective. We can come here to the stroke tab and set the start width to 25 and the end width to 25. And this will make the lines a little bit thicker. And if we scrub through our timeline completely, you'll see that this will fill up the entire screen eventually. So all we need to do is take our layer and just move it over in time so it can start while it's fully you know, expanded. And then just drag out the out point. For the color, we're gonna go ahead and set this to white for right now and click OK. And then to prevent this from fading out, we'll come here to fade out time and set this up to 10. And then for us to add even more lines, what we can do is come here to frequency and set this up to like 3.5 and then go to expansion and set to 6.5. And you can go ahead and play with these two settings, and this will also affect the speed of the lines. So we have this really trippy background, but let's go ahead and colorize it in a really awesome way. So go to Layer, New, Solid. We'll call it Gradient and click OK. Put it underneath our original Waves background there, and go to Effect, Generate, and grab Gradient Ramp. We'll go ahead and solo the layer real quick. We'll change our first color to maybe like a bluish type color and click OK. And I'll set our second color to maybe an orange type color. Then we can unsolo our layer and set the blend mode for our waves background to overlay. And now that will take the color of our background. Then of course, I suggest taking the gradient ramp and playing with the anchor point. So move it around and you'll get completely different looks across your background. And a quick tip when you actually apply your graphics and say they're white and it's hard to see, just go to your fade out time and go ahead and increase that from five to a greater number. And that will help you know make your white graphics stand out even more. So now you can create a really cool background really quick, but we can take this even further with some extra tips. So for example, if we wanna create a circular background like this, it's super simple as well. So you can take all the settings that we've already created with the radio waves effect, come here to the producer point and maybe move the producer over here to the top corner. And then we can come here to the sides and increase this to max, which is, I think is like 128. And now we have a circle, but then you need to expand it even more. So you can come here to lifespan and go ahead and increase that number. And then once again, you might need to adjust the frequency and the expansion uh, to fit your needs. And as before, just drag the layer over so then you can fill up your entire composition. And of course, the colors that you choose for your gradient is going to make a massive difference uh, in your overall background. So by making a few changes, you can really change the overall dynamic of your background just by using the radio waves effect. Before we move further into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to our Motion Graphics Professionals Pack, which has 1400 templates right here for After Effects. For example, you can preview templates like we're creating in this video and apply it to your composition with one click of a button. And within a few seconds, you can add some nice accent graphics to your project. Also in this pack is a handful of titles which you can easily apply to your project. You can then double click on the composition and change the titles to fit your project needs. And then with the control layer, you can adjust the colors of everything inside the template fairly quick. You can also choose from effects like glitches and particle effects uh, to really cool transitions. And you can also choose from over 600 promo graphics. So if you're interested in having an extension panel with over 1400 templates, be sure to check our links in the description below. You can also download our free 100 template pack here for After Effects and Premiere Pro. So for our next type of background, we're not using the radio waves effect, but simply just the pen tool, which is gonna allow you to create a ton of different designs. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the pen tool, turn off fill and turn stroke on. I'm gonna use a stroke width of 40. And I'm coming here to the top and I'm just gonna draw out a straight line like this, hold down shift. So that allow you to create a perfect straight line. And we'll come here to add and we'll add a repeater. We'll open this up. We'll go to transform repeater one, set the exposition to zero, and then we'll increase the Y value until we have a gap between our lines like this. Okay, then we increase the number of copies to fill up our entire composition. Now, another cool technique I can apply here is to break the chain for scale and set down the Y value here by a little bit. So this will make each line progressively smaller. And then to animate this, all I'm gonna do is add a keyframe for offsets and I'll move forward in our timeline. And then I'll go ahead and set the offset value into the negative values, so like negative 10. So now we have this nice line animation, but we can go ahead and variate this even more. So for example, I can go to add and add a zigzag, open this up, increase the size, 
And then just like in our previous technique, we can add just a simple gradient background with a gradient ramp and set our blend mode to overlay on our lines layer. And this will create a nice background. Remember a big part of this is choosing the right colors. Uh, so you can pause the video and copy my hex codes here. But once all said and done, you have another nice background that you can work with. So let me show you one more example of using the line technique to create another awesome background. So for example, this time around, I can use a smaller stroke and I can come here to the top and just draw like a slanted line like this. And then we'll go to the shape layer, go to add, add a repeater, do the same exact thing, go to the transform repeater once at the X position to zero, increase the Y value, and then increase the number of copies like crazy. And then, you know, we can also fill up this gap by just moving our layer up here to the top. And then as before, just keyframe the offsets. And then if you hit R and keyboard rotation, we can rotate this layer by a little bit. And this will give us more of an angle and then just continue to move the layer over to fill up the you know, the gaps in your composition, set your blend mode to overlay, and then and then add your preferred gradient background. So just by using these techniques, you can create really unique backgrounds incredibly fast. If you're new to our YouTube channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button as we post multiple post-production videos every single week and always be creating.